Ooh, dead spoilers about what? The new Indiana Jones movie. Don't think people really give that much or pay that much attention to them on this channel, but at least uh, in case someone does, I've given fair warning that they could be spoiled. So they can't complain. Oh, right as we get to the cover. So. Uh, internet's better, I guess. They still haven't came out and tried to fix anything that's supposedly going to be tomorrow. But we'll find out. You don't even know what mode I'm on, but you're going to stream snipe. I don't think I need to be too worried about you, then. No, I think it comes out on the 30th in America, but in the Philippines that came out on our 28th, so yesterday. So, got to see it early, technically. I don't know why, actually, it releases out here so much earlier than the U.S. That really, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert on that one, but I'm like, all right. Definitely not as bad as everyone's making it out to be, though. But again, I'm kind of, uh, how do you explain it? I also don't have the same uh, opinions as most uh, Indiana Jones fans, though. Like, people are just like, from the... I didn't watch anything on it, or like... Uh, nothing going into it. I just went in and watched it, and it, it's not nearly as bad as people make it out to be. It's not great! I'm not saying it's like... The next coming of Indiana Jones, but... There's a lot of stuff where I'm just like, all right, all right. but in fairness... <laughs> I always bring it up. In uh, Temple of Doom, they fucking jump out of a plane with a raft and live. So, <laughs> I mean, these movies aren't ever really, um, I, I, I don't know. They all have their fair share of dumb shit that happens in them. No, I'm not comparing it to Indy 4. It's one of the movies I compare it to, but I put it above Temple of Doom. I can't stand Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom is actually my least favorite Indiana Jones movie. That movie, I, I can't stand watching it. Even with my girlfriend, we're watching some of them back now, and I just, I don't find myself enjoying watching that movie at all. So it's not even, oh, you just thought that because you were a kid. No, even to this day, I still don't like Temple of Doom. But that's what everybody's saying. Oh my god, this is horrible. It's like they, without spoiling much, they, if you saw the trailer, you know, they have like a young indie with some, uh, what is it called? That like face recognition or what, whatever that face shit. You know, everybody in Disney complains about it. It, it. That really wasn't that good. The scenes themselves weren't bad, but when you look at them, it's like... I'm like, come on, man. Especially, there's a, there's a scene where he turns his head sideways. Ooh, big spoiler, right? And it, it just, like, didn't even look correct. I'm like, what? What is this? I don't know. But people are blowing that shit way out of proportion. Again, not great though. I'm not saying it's like, oh my god, be Celeste Crusade, but it's not that bad. I actually liked where the, the story was going. Like, you know how every movie has its main uh, plot, or like each different artifact does certain thing. You know, I actually liked where this one was going, but I'm sure people will complain. Then what's her name? Phoebe Walker? That character. I, I didn't really care about that character, didn't love it, didn't hate it, but. Yeah. I know people are going to be complaining about her, so that, that's for sure. Yeah, I watched it. came out in the Philippines early. In the, well, not early, but they scheduled it to come out on the 20, uh, the Philippines 28th, but in America it's the 30th. So we actually get it like three days before you guys, which actually, uh, like I just said, I have no idea why. doesn't make any sense. I thought it was a typo when I looked. Well, when does the movie come out here? I was like, wait, it's early? I thought it was going to be late. Like, when I tried to watch the Oppenheimer movie, they didn't even release it over here. But meanwhile, Indiana Jones comes out early. Maybe they know the American markets are going to fucking bomb that movie because they're going to complain. So they're like, let's let it out early for the uh, for the uh, the Asian markets. That actually might be the reason why. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I don't think people in China are complaining about the movies as much as uh, Americans. Maybe that's what they're thinking behind the scenes. No idea. Who knows? 
Yeah, that, that's my order. Number one movie by a long shot is The Last Crusade. I can watch that movie any day of the week and have a marvelous time. My next one's to, um, not to look um, um, what is it called? I literally just watched it, motherfucker. What is the movie called? I literally thought about it today. The first one, whatever it is, the first one, the one with the arc. Then I would pro. This is where it gets confusing because I might actually rank this movie as my third. I even put that on Twitter yesterday, which I'm sure will be controversial because I put it above Temple of Doom for me, for me anyway. But the crazy thing is, I might even put Temple of Doom dead last. I, I genuinely don't like that movie. So for me, it would probably be Last Crusade, The Ark, this one, then maybe the the Alien one, which I really didn't like. It had some moments I liked, but I, for the most part, I'm like, yeah, no, I didn't like Shia LaBeouf or any of that shit. But I still would probably put it above Temple of Doom. I just don't enjoy Temple of Doom for whatever fucking reason. I know that's blasphemy me, because you have to like the originals and hate absolutely everything else. It seems It's weird how every uh, franchise is like that, Star Wars is. At some point, you got to start realizing it probably has a lot to do with your nostalgia, because you saw it as a kid, for a lot of people. But they, they, a lot of people don't even factor that in. But I cannot stand that Temple of Doom movie. I, I don't know why. I know some of the reasons why I love Short Round. He is one of the amazing uh, pieces about it, but I don't know. No, it's coarse and it gets everywhere. It's in my ass. It actually let me trade today, though. Yeah, Raiders of the Lost Ark. There you go. Tonight, my girlfriend and I are going to watch uh, The Last Two Saves, so I'm excited. I can, like I said, I could watch that movie anytime. Doesn't matter. Love that movie. Talking about the new Indiana Jones movie. The Dial of Destiny or whatever the fuck it's called. I just bumped into a bad guy right here. Probably not gonna do anything. At least Kylo's getting freezes though. They're on it now. At least Kylo is. Where's the other guy? Charge, go. Wait, where am I going? I need to look at my screen.
Alright, yeah, we're in here now. Oh, there's, I think that's probably my grenade, actually. Vader's here. Nice to see you, Vader. You missed one back here, Vader. There we go. We've taken the... Well, I shouldn't say taking it. We're on it, at least. Oh my goodness. I don't feel safe here. Nobody's on it. Oh, we got it. I thought we lost. I was like, but how is nobody on it? I'm looking at the teammate button. Have they given the last heroes yet? I don't know. I like it better than Crystal Skull, but... You're 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 not asking the guy with the normal uh, Indiana Jones opinions. I put Crystal Skull above Temple of Doom, so <laughs> that's probably good enough to get me crucified by the Indiana Jones community. But you know. Raiders of the Lost Ark, that's uh, number two. Excuse me. Can I keep burping? Oh no, the swinging monkey thing is one of my, probably actually my least favorite scene in any of the damn movie. And I just did not like Shia LaBeouf, but. No spoilers though. Not gonna spoil it unless somebody really asks nicely, but. There's enough bad guys behind door number one. Jesus. Hello, Edwin. Hello, Chris. I mean, really, if you haven't watched any Indiana Jones movies and you wanted to watch one, if you're even going to not watch the other ones, just watch The Last Crusade. That alone is good enough. All you got to know is he goes in as a trick. I mean, you don't even need to know anything. They explain it in the movie, honestly, though. Are we actually going to win this, by the way? Oh, well, maybe not. Here comes this guy, so who knows? Whips of Doom. We always need one of them. Can't be a Heroes... Or a Heroes vs. Villains. Uh, a close match without a little droid rolling up. Yeah, I really... Do. I, I'm not like a Shia LaBeouf hater either. Like, I love some movies he's in, but I did not like that particular character very much in that movie. And that monkey scene was so goddamn fucking stupid. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. I don't act like when I put it above Temple of Doom that it's great, but I really don't like Temple of Doom either, so. Even if you're just going with vibes, I found the vibe way well, a lot more fun, at least for me, on uh, even that, uh, what is it called? Crystal Skull than I did Temple of Doom. I don't, that, that movie, Temple of Doom, I don't know what it is. I think part of it's the girl, part of it I just don't really care about the plot line, like it's just, I, I, I don't know. Short Round is like, Amazing. I wish he was actually in more of the, uh... Wow, we actually won this game. Holy shit. Wish he was actually in more of the Indiana Jones movies. But... Ooh, Lexus, glad you caught a stream too. Welcome. Oh, he definitely does seem unhinged. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> 